peace of God. Reading from scripture, Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The objective and eternal peace we have with God as we saw yesterday also provides a subjective and internal peace, a peace that we are able to experience. This is seen as a sense of trust, goodness, contentment and well-being. The verse above shows that when we are faced with a situation that can bring us some unrest or anxiety in our hearts, we are commanded not to be anxious or not to worry. Notice the command in the verse. This verse begins with be. It is indicated as a state of being in. Now there is an action we are to take, which is to bring all that we are worried about before the throne of grace and before God in prayer, along with a lot of gratitude. And following this, there is an outcome. What is the outcome? The outcome is the peace of God, which transcends or surpasses or exceeds or is way beyond our human understanding. And this is what will guard our minds and our hearts. This peace of God that replaces every anxiety in our lives of the believers is impossible to experience unless one has already had the peace with God through faith in Jesus Christ. The peace of God is the antidote for anxiety. The peace that is experienced is not the absence of problems, but it is a display of the divine sufficiency of the God whom we serve. This peace is a promise, which is the result of the practice of thankful prayer to God, meaning the peace of God is the fruit of believing prayer and is dependent upon faithful prayer. This kind of peace is a condition within the heart of a believer. This peace of God is the peace that only He possesses. We cannot receive this anywhere around us. Scripture says in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, it calls Jesus as the Prince of Peace. The Greek word used here is Shalom, Shalom, meaning Jesus is Shalom. He is the dispeller and giver of total wholeness. Thus God is the source of peace, not the conditions around us. This peace is beyond our comprehension, for we cannot understand it fully. But it is not beyond our experience, for we can experience it to our present. The words will guard our hearts. It is like a sentry standing guard on the gates of our hearts and minds. So if the peace of God is not ruling inside of us, then an unwanted intruder has already set itself in. But when the peace of God stands guard, our hearts and minds are not given into the strength of the intruder. So in our walk today with the Lord, let's be aware that the Prince of Shalom is with us and his peace for us is personal and absolute. Let's look to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you for the Prince of Peace that you are and the peace that you give us that transcends all understanding, that surpasses all knowledge. Thank you for it being an antidote to our worry and our fear. And thank you because we have the experience of knowing what it is to, to be at peace. We give you glory and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.